Hi, today we're going to take a look at the trends of the Colorado Springs real estate market through the uh, time of COVID. So we'll go back to March and go through each month, sort of giving the highlights of the median price, the days on market, and so on. So you can kind of see what trends are going on for Colorado Springs. Pretty strong overall. And then if you stay tuned for the end, which I recommend, you'll find out the zip code in Colorado Springs that's been named the hottest zip code in the country for real estate sales. So be sure to stick around for that. Now, every week we do another video highlighting some factor of Colorado Springs. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you're notified every week when we give you some more information about living, working, playing in Colorado Springs. So we get so many people moving here from around the country that we get all kinds of calls and texts and emails and so on. So here's my, uh, here's my contact information so you can get a hold of me, please do. So let me uh, share my screen and I'll bring up the first data point. All right, so we're going to be talking about seven months worth of data, trends in the Car Springs market. So starting in March, the uh, median price was just a touch below $350,000. As a reminder, the median is right in the middle, half or below this and half or above. Days on market 25, so things sold out in less than a month. 869 buyers found a home and there were still 791 available, not very many. In April, the uh, median price went up by $5,000 and the days on market was almost cut in half to 14. Uh, 851 were sold and some more came on the market at that point, so we had 965 available. Just a reminder, this is only single family homes in Colorado Springs. So it doesn't get into the suburbs and it doesn't get into townhomes or condos. So in May, the price, median price dropped back a bit and the uh, days on market went up a bit and the sold numbers went down a bit and so did the number left on the market. So that's what was happening in May. In June, it came roaring back, highest uh, recorded median price in history, 355, 17 days on the market, sold 1,172 homes in June and still had 882 left. By July, the price had gone up, look at this, $20,000 uh, increase in the median price to 375. Days on the market went down even further, hard to believe, down to 16 days. Look at how many we sold, 1,312, and still had 925 left for sale. Then things changed a little bit in August. The median price went back down. Days on the market stayed the same. Sold 1,271, still the second best in this COVID time, but not too many available. So that's where we're at at the end of August. Now, at the end of August last year, uh, the average price was only 325000 So it's come up quite a bit since then. Um, days on market was 20. There were 1,360 for say, or sold and over 1,000, 1,054 available. So that was just a year ago. So things have come up quite a bit in a year and have not slowed off, slowed down in this COVID time from March through August. So the last thing I want to share with you today is the exciting news about one of our outlying zip codes, but still within the city, has been named the hottest zip code for real estate deals in the country right now. And uh, I'll show you a map of it because I didn't know it was that hot down there. So here we go. Yes, 80911 is the hottest real estate market in the entire country. You can see where it lies Compared to downtown, it's just south of the airport. It's the southernmost uh, zip code in our county. And uh, so there you go, 80911 had, um, let's see, the median price in July was 306,500 compared to Colorado Springs overall at 375. So significantly lower median price but they're still up almost 16% from a year ago. Lots of recent rehabs, fixes and flips, fixes and rentals, fixes and live in, 
So it's a really popular neighborhood right now. In fact, the hottest in the country. So that's where that is. So just a reminder that uh, we do these every week. Love to have you uh, subscribe and hit that bell to get reminded. Uh, here's my contact information again. Love to hear from you. Give me a call, a text, a voicemail, whatever feels good. And I'd love to help you figure out your next move into Colorado Springs. Have a good one. Bye.